Hello everyone. In this video tonight, let's do a reading about the thoughts, feelings, intentions, uh, actions towards you at this moment. And we'll also ask for advice when it comes to this person in this relationship. I have three tarot decks here, number one, two, and three. So if you'd like to participate, please think of a person, a person's, and choose a deck or decks. If you cannot choose a deck, you can always choose a playing card if you want. These are the three playing cards, all are queens, uh, because 90% of the viewers of this channel are females, so that's why. Anyway, if you'd like to participate, please think of a person and choose. Take your time, please. <clears throat> have you chosen so let's start with our deck number one modern spellcast star Their thoughts, their feelings, their intentions, their actions, thoughts, feelings, intentions, actions, their fears, let's ask that as well, their wishes. And the outcome. We'll also ask for advice. The advice. Okay. Wow. The thoughts about you, the death card. Well, it can be that between you both things are not happening. It's very, very cold or it's ended or it's an ex or you haven't seen each other in ages. It's like um, they might see you as an ex or the past or, you know, someone with whom the relationship is not happening right now. You know, maybe they see you as someone who has cut off herself, himself from them. Their feelings, well, friendly feelings, fun. They do not hold any grudges. They basically want to, they look at you as a friend. Or they have only positive thoughts, you know, that sort of thing. And they would like to hang out with you. So overall, they're happy and friendly towards you. Their intentions. Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Their intentions is like, um, it, sometimes this card can I mean like a regret over the words they said in the past, over the things that they said in the past. It's like they want to be with you to, um, but more like, uh, like to support you in a difficult situation, to like sorry a little bit, um, like to be there for you, you know, like to, to cry on the shoulder, maybe to let you cry on their shoulder, to talk about things that um, where, you know, that maybe only they could understand or support you in some sort of trouble that you're undergoing. So that sort of situation, it can be, but uh, also the card is not super good. It's like, Mm, it can talk about difficult relationship where mm, they might be worried what others would say, you know. 
their actions, what they what they actually are doing. Well, Ten of Swords just uh, mirrors the Death card. It basically says they're not doing anything. They're completely surrendered, let go of, cut off. Basically, they accepted the ending, if there was an ending. So, based on this, or they're absolutely inactive. They're kind of letting the flow take them wherever it has to take them. And they do not act at all. They most probably have given up on the relationship or just feel they're so powerless in everything that they just surrender completely, accepted it. Uh, what are their fears when it comes to this relationship, the star? Well, the fears can be sometimes of the relationship becoming famous, um, becoming kind of like viral on the internet, becoming known. Maybe deep down they might be afraid that it might recover the relationship, um, that it might become romantic, that they might lose their mind over this. You know, that basically the hope would be revived and uh, it would be also kind of fa like famous uh, so maybe they for some reason they don't want it to uh, become healthy again why are they afraid of that lovers maybe they are in another relationship right now and maybe they chose to be in with another person you know, so they're afraid that they're afraid that if this relationship would work out, then the other relationship would suffer, or they're just afraid of love at all, like completely, like any romantic situation, any love situation, they might be just not ready for that, or it's just too painful for them, or you know, like reviving the past type of thing. Their wishes five of cups well it seems to me that they are quite comfortable uh, with it being the end it's qu they're quite comfortable you know moving on or uh, working with what's left and that sort of feeling you know they're quite comfortable with the so-called negative outcome so this card means sadness some sort of uh, they see crying over the spilled milk. That's what they want. They want to be sad. They want this to be over. They want to look back into the past. They want to feel sorry for themselves, perhaps. And um, that sort of situation. Maybe it's a traumatic relationship where a person wouldn't want to revive it. Or there were mistakes or words said that they cannot get over. Okay, what will happen between you two? Queen of Swords. Okay, now if you're the Queen of Swords, usually you, Queen of Swords comes, uh, let's say, when you're an air sign, uh, you know, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. It can be that maybe you're older, you know, like an uh, older woman with gray hair. It can also mean that you're just a personality of a leader, a warrior, and no nonsense. So this person might uh, be a woman who, who demands a lot from others, who <clears throat> is very educated, very intelligent. She um, is very straightforward honest and she would tell verbally what she needs and the person might feel that she's too strict she's demanding too much and maybe they're even scared so so i think for whatever reason the woman the female which can be you or some someone's mother can be for example all the mother um can be like a rival Someone will be very strong in being cruel towards that person. Cruel, I would say, uh, can be perceived as cruel because 
she's cold she's cold emotionally and um it can be that you will be shut off from them you will not show any uh, feelings or you will want to stick to your values and you will not want to compromise for example so even like you meet them you will not go down to their demands or uh, you will not play the game you will think you're right and things have to be the way you want so i'm getting some sort of like um being in control and being unforgiving so and that may be you or if it's them then maybe their girlfriend or mother or a wife is very very strict and very unforgiving and very kind of mean um it could be or just very smart so that sort of situation she doesn't seem to be uh, uh very of uh, what do you call it she might be hurt you know queen of swords she might be just hurt over what happened in the past so for, for example if you're mourning someone you might appear as a queen of swords so if you're hurt over that relationship, it might be you're so unforgiving over the past that even if this person comes back to you and apologizes, you probably will not <laughs> accept it. Will they come back? Uh, if so, why I'm thinking that they are not with you because of death and ten of swords, okay? And five of cups, it's like, uh, as if they're not really angry but they're not really they kind of think it's the past but will they come back i think yes they will come back but it's more like let's do business let's be together let's do this let's do that together uh you know partnership or something like that like they have ideas that uh, involve you which is related to work and you know some sort of goals and, and things like that. so they might come back like that like uh, one in a group uh, part of a group uh, person so what is the advice for you regarding this desire is the beginning of all creation basically the card says you don't really want them and um, you know you don't want them back you don't you don't want to revive this and um in allowing your desire to come to you, you not only gain the satisfaction of having received it, you also gain a whole new perspective from which to desire more. So there's something with not wanting it. Like you made up your mind not to want it. So if you don't want it, it cannot happen. So it's going into that, you know, that uh, you have to want it to, for it to happen. And, uh, you know that sort of situation i'm pretty much interpret them very literally um this is law of attraction cards so you know desire and the law of attraction is a very important element and the teaching is that um uh, not no knowing what you one doesn't want will automatically guide us towards what we want so if you don't you know what you don't want you'll know what you want so if you, let's say, hate this relationship or relationships the way they happen, um, that means you think you, you don't want a relationship. So, so maybe the, it's pointing to the fact that maybe it tells you what kind of relationship you want, what kind of person you want, what kind of treatment you want by another person, how you want to feel with another person. So maybe it's guiding towards knowing what you want. It's like... You know this experience is telling you more precisely what you want in a partner in the future so maybe you can use it as a lesson and um and like note it down on a even list uh that i don't want this in a, par in a partner i want this in a partner so it's just like a self growth type of situation okay so i hope that this was useful for you helpful Let's move on to our reading number two. Tarot Doll Path. 
<clears throat> this is Tarot del Path. We are looking at this relationship with someone that you thought of that you're having in your mind mind right now so we'll have a look at what do they think of you what are their feelings what are their intentions what are their actions what are their fears what are their wishes towards you what will happen between you two and what is the advice love attraction cards okay that's the advice so what does this person think of you three of broads well the three of broads definitely can be that they look at you as um you know one uh, meaning can be that you know that you're working together and they look at you as a, like a colleague or someone who helps them out somehow or who's just there uh, another meaning can be that they think uh, that your relationship have ha has grown considerably uh, so ha there has been progress in that relationship and uh, you're not complete strangers and it's not dead you know it's growing so it's like uh, on the way somewhere um so let's say you're familiar with each other maybe you, you met each other a couple of times and it's going fine you know but maybe you don't know what will happen next because uh, as far as so far it's been fine what are your feelings about what are their feelings about you we have the emperor well with the emperor we have like emperor is not very very emotional you know so the feelings are more like very serious and logical you know they might actually perceive you as someone to take care of they might perceive you as even a child almost because they see themselves as a paternal figure as a father you know or older someone or more responsible or a male or stronger somehow or someone who has to guide you protect you you know that sort of thing so it could be that uh, the feelings are just very practical and maybe that's how they show love you know through that you know she's my girlfriend i have to protect her she's so weak you know that sort of that sort of thing uh I'm not still sure because we don't have like love love cards but uh, like cups or you know like being in love strongly losing your control being obsessed that sort of we're not getting here it's very very practical so I'm thinking there's a possibility that maybe uh, the feelings are just practical you know uh, maybe they're just like uh, older colleague or older mentor who who's kind of looking at you as a younger employee who they actually have to protect and take care of but um, lots of feelings of partnership and friendship but I'm not sure about this love so let's have a look further their intentions towards you well queen of rods well with the queen of rods so definitely they kind of want to boss around i think they want to okay maybe not boss around maybe that's not the wrong not, right, not the right word um basically it's a very busy card it's very happy person like always on the go um you know so maybe they want to act like very busy around you always telling you sharing with you ideas that they have about things that they want to do very excited person you know so maybe uh, when you see them, they're always talking, they're always moving, they're always excited, they always want to do something, they always da da da. So perhaps they want to somehow manifest that energy when they are with you. So let's say, I would say, like move you, inspire you, make you do things, make you go here and there, 
you know, themselves being very busy, so it can still be work as once with emperor. Their actions, six of swords, actions are um, as if they're leaving, as if they're always um, absent, as if they're on the go. Uh, maybe they uh, travel a lot, maybe they leave and come again a lot, you know. Uh, but in this particular deck, we have them showing their back. So it's like the absent for me, the, the travel absent. You know, busy, very quickly they appear, they talk, they da da da, and then they just disappear, they absent again. Their wish, no, their fears when it comes to you. Ten of rods, again, wands, rods. So we have this um, fears of being bugged down, being burdened, being too busy, being too weighted down by um, the relationship. Maybe they have, they know many people or something. Maybe you're just one of the many people they know. Maybe they're so busy. Maybe they're afraid not to have time. Maybe they're afraid of taking up too much on themselves. You know, this is common card with people who are very, I don't know, popular, busy, taking care of many things. And, you know, they might see you as one more person they have to take care of. And maybe they have to manage this and that and this and that. And um, maybe have other relationships also. And they're afraid that this relation, they cannot give a lot to this relationship. Or maybe they see themselves as a person who is a people's pleaser. Or who just wants to help everyone and wants to take care of everyone and wants to respond to everyone and wants to talk to everyone, but they cannot handle it and um, they cannot handle it and then they basically get burdened and then they get panicked uh, about now they will have to seem as a horrible person because they cannot handle all the responsibilities, all the relationships, all the emails, all the jobs you know so I think their biggest fear is overwhelm maybe it's a weakness they cannot handle stress or they're very stressful they're very busy but they, at the same time they cannot handle it so it seems to be that they're just afraid of commitment or burden or something like that now their wishes well queen of swords I think they want to communicate but they want to communicate professionally they want to communicate professionally and they want to keep their distance so they want to not for this not to get too involved like in this relationship they want to have a distance and they want space for themselves um, they want it to be mental maybe they are struggling with emotional things and allowing people in emotionally and you know the, the queen of swords she, she's polite she might be polite and nice and uh, following the rules and being honest and loyal and all that but she might have issues with emotional attachment and she might have issues when let's say people approach her to, from too close and you know that intimacy starts and she might not want to experience that intimacy uh, so I think she's fine as long as there is some space and some distance and some like um, like um, rules or protocol of how to deal uh, deal with the situation so I think it's kind of professional for me looks pretty professional for some reason like i just it's okay it's active it's uh, it's happening the relationship is happening but it's no cups at all no love cards kind of like that so what will happen illusion illusion will happen so illusion it can be lots of 
maybe secrets and this lots of hiding you know lots of things that that are which that seem what they are not basically uh, it can be lots of dreaminess it can be lots of emotional experiences it can be um, thinking attaching emotionally worrying crying uh, being attached towards this person for example a relationship can be based on delusions and illusionary uh, bonds so for example you think this person is for you who they are not you think that they're friend but they are not you think that uh, they are the lover but they are not it's just you see in them what you want to see in them but in reality they are a totally different person and it's totally there's some disconnect about reality here let's see and um, and it can be something like confusion and uh, it can be something that is not very clear sometimes this card can talk about you know even mental issues let's say one of you might have you can talk about also cinema and videos and watching something like photos or videos of that person so it's like art let's say uh, media uh, like screens you know involved so the screens will, will be there but that's all person is not there just a screen uh, with videos in it or photos in it or something like that so it's pretty much very vague and abstract and, and that sort of thing person is the person is not very um, uh, intimate, not very committed, you know, that sort of situation. So let's have a look at what is the advice for you. I'm not here to fix anything. I'm here for fun. Very wonderful card, actually. I'm not here to fix anything. I'm here for fun. So yeah it's uh, it's very popular in spiritual community i think in new age and uh everyone is always fixing something you know cleaning chakras cleaning auras uh sorry um mental body astral body you know all the meditations is about cleaning uh you know fixing healing you know as if we're so dirty or as if we're so broken you know that sort of thing <laughs> so and i think maybe it comes from christianity where it says that people are born guilty there's some sort of inherent guilt for being born through a woman or something something so and you know i remember even in a church People would beat their chests and while kneeling on the floor and would say, I'm guilty, I'm guilty, I'm guilty. For what? So maybe it comes actually, you know, if someone's Christian, they would also apply that Christian mentality for spirituality and new age. So I think they want to beat themselves up. Like we all want to beat themselves um, ourselves up. I mean, those who are like born Christians, let's say, uh, they're always guilty, they're always dirty. And they always kind of grow, want to grow and uh, improve. And that's where this business is thriving. You know, this tarot and spiritual and new age and whatnot. So, yeah, this card is saying we're, we're not here to fix anything. We're here for fun. So somehow maybe this is desperation. This relationship is uh, like you see in that person that it can help you. They can help you fix yourself. Maybe you can. They can help you um, heal you somehow. But it says this thing, this whole relationship, this whole situation is supposed to be for fun, and it shouldn't be so serious. Um, and nothing needs to be fixed. First of all, so yeah, we can read also what is written here. You're not here to fix anything because nothing is broken, but everything is continually changing and expanding. Release your struggle and seek joy and fun. And in doing so, you will align with the fantastic expanding rhythm of this universe. 
great and inspiring and relieving, I think. So this was our reading number two. And let's move on to our reading number three. We have Golden Tarot. So let's have a look what is there what are their thoughts what are their feelings what are their intentions what are their actions what are their fears what are their wishes towards you also what will happen between you two and one advice card so let's have a look their thoughts about you ace of wands ace of wands well probably um well do you think that you're very fiery very confident very hot very active very initiative it can be that you're on fire, it can be that you're full of enthusiasm and they're with you, they just feel like things are happening and you make things happen, it's never boring, you know, there's always action because you have energy, lots of energy. So something like that, that's what they think of you. So it can sometimes mean anger, like very angry person, but let's just see. Um, their feelings towards you have justice feel justice as feelings well usually justice is not very emotional it's pretty much neutral or very in control of their feelings they're more like thinking with their mind uh, but overall it's a balanced a balanced emotion um, it could be that they're controlling their feelings also uh, they're aware of their feelings and they're trying to manage their how they feel when they are with you. But usually, just as I think, they feel right. They feel okay, you know, with that. Well, other cards will tell us more because, well, it's kind of, it can be different things in different situations. Their intentions, we have 10 of coins. Well, intentions are definitely to invest a lot in you. This particular card shows uh, like an extended family, so maybe it's to uh, communicate with you on a family level um, with other people, with relatives, with friends. It can be um, uh, to want to help you somehow on the official level, you know, to participate, uh, to partner up in some sort of social cause or you know that sort of thing so overall it's pretty uh generous and willing and wanting to socialize can be a family card as well just wanting to have a nice home and family their actions well again no actions intentions are good thoughts and feelings are good mm. But actions is, uh, again, a lazy, not doing anything, giving up, waiting for something, you know, hopeless, energy is down, no energy. Interesting. Not, no particular initiation, let's see in this. Their fears. Page of coins. Well, with this card, um, well, the fears can be... Um, Maybe that they'll have to help you or they'll have to uh, do things for you, pay money, um, to teach something to you, you know. Also, the card can mean uh, a student, a child, 
you know, maybe a document can be, maybe they don't want to give you that, what you're looking for, maybe they're aware that you need something, uh, especially if it's um, uh, some sort of social, let's say, or administrative issue, like legal or something, it can be money, it can be uh, something to do with a child. So the fears is like they don't want to share something or they don't want to do something. What are their wishes? Strength. What are their wishes when it comes to you in this situation? Maybe they are looking for... more patience or courage to deal with this maybe they're afraid somehow of your energy and they want to be more strong and uh, able to handle this you know with that strength card like they want um, courage i think that's the main issue with this card they want to have more patience and ability to handle the situation that's happening maybe it's a big situation for them you know and maybe not very pleasant maybe it's legal related something maybe you are very active and um, maybe they might see you as pushy or uh, very aggressive in wanting to get things done. Romantically, again, the cards are weird. It can be that they see you as a like active, dominating uh, force in this relationship. Like you are doing everything, initiating everything. You're kind of they don't have these strong feelings they're kind of like neutral but they do have interests with you like either partner up somewhere belong somewhere together in some sort of group of although they're not doing anything you're doing everything it, it seems so they're afraid of something that you might demand maybe it's related with issuing a document, uh, needing to study somewhere, let's say learning, needing to learn something, needing to give someone something. You know, I feel like maybe they actually want you to be forceful and do everything, or they want themselves to have that energy. Maybe they want you to be nice. Maybe they want uh, more positive energy. Maybe they want uh, more courage to be better. They want to the courage to give or ability to give or to have things that you need and to give. But like they don't have the power or something to, to give even a little bit what you want from them that sort of thing so they have good intentions but it's like they have no courage and energy to do it what will happen queen of coins well i think it will happen what they're afraid of uh things that they're afraid of it'll take place uh they'll end up giving okay you'll you'll end up making them give <laughs> and uh, we have that sort of um, basically all you want coming to truth and uh, the thing that they're afraid they will do it so it can be I'm also seeing like a favor or a gift you know or some sort of commitment you know whatever the situation is what is advice here my future isn't about my past life is only about now so in this particular case it seems that past is playing an important role 
and maybe most of the expectations and things in the situation are based on what happened in the past but the fact that we have a card about the past it's already telling us that it's not relevant and we have to let go of it like you have to let go of it and uh, what will happen in the future might not reflect what happened in the past it doesn't mean relationship will not be happening but it's going to be different than before and you need to know to look at the now what do you want now what's happening now and from that um, from that perspective to look at the situation, not from the some sort of past perspective that doesn't exist anymore. Nothing that has ever happened has anything to do with now, unless in my now, I continue to think and speak about it. Fresh new thoughts today will always give me a fresh new experience. So, that's pretty nice. So this was our reading number three. I do hope this made sense and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful night and a wonderful day. Bye-bye.